So today we're going to be uh, putting the Hellcat in storage, unfortunately. Uh, it's a sad day, but it's pretty inevitable here in good old Wisconsin because the temperatures are getting cold. As you can see, I got my Milwaukee heated jacket on here. It's about 30 degrees out this morning. So, But yeah, so I wanted to do a video of uh, storing the Hellcat. And then also I, I purchased a car capsule because um, I live in the Northwoods here in Wisconsin and the mice are just insane. I get them pretty much daily in the house and then in the garage and everything. So I got traps and you name it everywhere. So I wanted something to keep my car as protected as possible because I had it in my storage unit last year and never had a problem. No mice at all over winter. But then I have my snowmobiles in there and throughout the summer there's been just tons of mice in there. So I really don't want to keep my car in the storage unit and I can't with the car capsule because it's got a fan that you plug in. So I opted to do it here in the garage, but so yeah, I'm gonna do a little setup video and kind of do like a review of it and how you know how easy it is to set up and everything. It's it seems pretty self-explanatory. You just unfold everything and lay it out, and then you back your car onto it, and then you zip it up, and then plug the fan in, and then that's pretty much it. But but yeah, no, the, the Hellcat's actually being delivered right now. Um, shout out to Aaron, my buddy Aaron, uh, uh, Mirror Finish LLC. He's, uh, sorry, Mirror Fitness Detailing and Ceramic Coatings LLC, but he's uh, coming in clutch for me. He's, he's able to clean the car, and then he did my ceramic, um, ceramic coating touch-up for the year. And then uh, he's able to load the car into a trailer and then haul it up here for me so I don't get any dirt on it, anything. So I'm able to just back it right into the garage back her into the car capsule and we'll be mint. So yeah, stay tuned. We'll do a little review on this uh, car capsule here. Probably do just do a little time lapse, but yeah, stay tuned. All right, so it looks like we got the fan here with the carbon filter on it. Seems pretty, pretty, pretty easy. Let's pull this thing out of here. PVC cover, fold it back towards the air intake of the capsule, and just attach the fan. <laughs> How do we do that?
seems like it's not wide enough. Yikes, I don't know, man. I don't know if this is wide enough. Sure doesn't look like it. Maybe it's just hard to tell. Let's get a tape measure here once. Maybe it just looks small because there's nothing on it. Well, that's six feet. Let's, this is six and a half feet. It's gonna be tight. But Probably have to fold the mirrors in, but yeah, seems like it's pretty self-explanatory for the most part. There's supposed to be a little, the one in the picture had like, like road paint lines going down the middle, but that's all right. It's not, not important. Yeah. So that was what, about 10 minutes took to set up and then I got to put the Put the fan in there, it looks like. So we'll do that and then just waiting for waiting for Aaron to show up at this point. Let's go. There's the fan panel. Alright, so it looks like we got on the back side of the fan, there's some Velcro. And then on the inside of the capsule, there's Velcro as well. So it looks like you just gotta mate those together. Um, let's see. Yep, so fan will sit. Try to get that as flat as possible here. This is a little tricky because the plastic is cold, but we will do our best here. Damn it. Version with an, it's called an Intella fan or whatever. The fan will just run automatically to keep the air uh, pumping in the capsule. But this one I got is, you gotta plug it in. So it's a little cheaper. It's like a hundred bucks, hundred and 200 bucks cheaper, something like that. But so then it looks like the cord just comes up from the bottom. Through here, I gotta set you guys down quick. Take this out. Gotta love these twisty ties. So it looks like you just go underneath capsule, and then there's a little hole in there already. Here. See the little hole, it looks like there. on through and it looks like this plugs in here boom we are cooking with peanut oil now boys we are ready to go now I'm just waiting on delivery of the old Hellcat let's go also just wanted to make a note um, it said on the website to not um not, like turn your wheels a lot on here like obviously like i got the carpet underneath so that's gonna help but like if you're on concrete and you're turning you know back and forth if you're trying to get yourself parked straight it's gonna it's gonna rub on the concrete and probably wear a hole pretty easily i would think so it said pretty specifically not to try to keep the movement as little as possible so i'm just gonna try to here he is, a man of the hour. Got the old Hell Kitty getting dropped off here. Surprisingly, he was able to back up the driveway. I thought he was going to scrape the piss out of his trailer, but we are golden, boys. Big shout out to Aaron. 
getting her dialed in. Let's go. Alright boys, here we go. We got the Hellcat ready to go. Big shout out to Aaron. Looking real good. Shee Get your ass in there. <laughs> Glad I'm not 280. Yeah, no shit. Be a whole different story. Woo. She's getting chilly out. Get one from the inside here, from the front. Yeah, hit up Aaron if you guys want to get your vehicle detailed. He's in Kakana. This is his business right here. We are finished detailing, paint correction, ceramic coatings, and then he's got this trailer so he can do uh, delivery, you know, pick up, drop off, anything like that. So, super nice to have. Turn the wheel a little bit. Right. That way, you're good. Oh, no, other way. A little bit back. All right, now straight. Yeah, I'll have to kind of move it back. It, it said not to turn the wheel a lot on it, so I'll kind of go back and forth and get it lined up. But yeah, you're good there then. Sweet. Oh, looking beautiful. Whew. Like a freaking mirror, boys. There's a reason why it's called mirror finish. Shee. Hell yeah. Looking good, buddy. Appreciate it. It's all right, dude. It's the way she goes. All righty. Huge shout out to Aaron. Make sure you guys check him out. I will take his all of his information in the description below. There he goes off back to the old 920. Appreciate it, buddy. Have a good one. Now we're gonna get the old Hellcat. Uh, Situated on our car capsule here, and then gonna. All right, I'm gonna get the old car fired up here, and uh, hopefully, Aaron left my key. Yep, good to go. I'll, I'll check, show you guys the interior quick just to see. Aaron goes the extra step when he's cleaning your vehicle, gets you the mat, gets you all covered up here. She's looking absolutely beautiful. That's his uh, System X coatings here. But I'm gonna try to make this quick because I only got about eight minutes left of memory here. So get this thing fired up and get her adjusted.
by yourself, so I might recommend doing this with two people so you can kind of get yourself guided. This is kind of tricky. tight the car capsule is 78 inches wide and my car is 78 and a half inches wide with the mirrors closed so she is going to be tight but I think we are dialed here got them both wheels in now I'm just gonna get them back down to my carpet squares here if you guys are wondering why I do that it's because I want to and I think it makes a difference. Keeps the tires off the cool concrete. Who knows if it helps? I mean it's only, you know, not even a half inch thick carpet, but I like to think it helps, so that's what we're gonna go with. I think we are dialed. Dialed right in boys. I'm taking this off. I'm getting warm now running around. <laughs> on my carpet squares but that's okay I don't want to keep my car running too much longer here I'm not really a huge fan of letting it idle all right now I'm gonna get the cover I'm kind of wondering if I should put my cover my actual cover on and then um, putting the bubble on it because I don't really want to because it's kind of like that hard plastic this like PVC and I'm gonna have to drape it over the car before it fills up with air. So kind of wondering, ooh, this thing did get really dusty. Holy shit. It's all right, still looks clean. It's gonna happen. All right, I think I'm just gonna send it. Ugh, makes me a little nervous, honestly. Ugh. How do you, how do you put it over without scratching the piss out of your car? Okay, I'm just gonna pull the battery out real quick and then we'll get back to the cover. All right, battery is out and it's heavy. All right, guys, I'm also gonna be putting some of these uh, big moisture absorbers in my car uh, per recommendation from my detailer, Aaron. So I'm just gonna throw one in the front seat. Throw one in the front seat, one in the back seat, one in the trunk. Smells good in here. All right, now we're gonna try to get this cover on.
hate this. Damn, this sucks. This is kind of a pain in the ass. I'm going to give, to be completely honest. I'm going to try maybe. It's just going to scratch your car if you do that. Seems kind of. Oh, fuck it. I guess it is what it is. <laughs> this is kind of a pain in the ass, but it is what it is. zipper up it's not definitely not the easiest task i'm finding out here but pretty soon we'll have the looks like i gotta throw the filter in here see if i can set up the tripod Ooh. looks like the filter just kind of tucks down into here So, there you go, there's our filter. Now I gotta get this side zipped up. turn the plug the fan in here grab an extension cord um so i guess i'll start doing my little review here on it um as far as setting it up goes i mean that was easy all you gotta do is pull it out of the box unfold it um lay it out and then back over it but as far as putting the cover on um 
recommend doing that with somebody because he saw how much I struggled with that. And then another thing is make sure that you are pretty much exactly centered on the on the bottom part because otherwise it it's going to be tough tough to zip because I'm pretty close on. I'm a little closer to the other side, so I think that was why we were having an issue, but we got her officially here, so I'll set this tripod up here and get the old girl plugged in. I'm thinking I'm gonna have some scuffs on my paint, but what do you do? All right, now let's see how this goes here. Do a little time lapse of it blowing up. See how long it takes. I'll put a little, I'll drop a little timer. I'll, I'll try to, I don't really know how to do that stuff, but I'll set her up on the tripod and oh, it's already starting to bubble up. Definitely, all right. That's gonna be as, pretty much as full as it gets. It says in the instructions you could take like a heat gun and kind of heat and work them wrinkles out of there. So I might do that tomorrow, but I'm just gonna leave it for now. Hell yeah, looking pretty good. I'm a little crooked. I'm a little farther over than I wanted to be. I wanted to be like right here, but it is what it is, I guess. But yeah, so that's the old birdhouse car club review on car capsule bubbles still still filling up a little bit yet yeah she's growing she's growing yeah i guess highly recommend getting one if you live out in the woods like me and you got mice everywhere but um get yourself a buddy to help you out all right, she's looking pretty full. Do a little 180 right here quick. Show you guys how the Hellcat fits. It's actually perfect because it obviously it bubbles out a little bit. So you're not like touching the side of the car. I was a little worried about that. Um, but yeah, this thing bubbles up pretty nice actually. I mean, it's a foot and a half off of the top of the car not touching anything oh yeah let's go let's go all right i think that's gonna be pretty much it for this video then um the old hellcat's gonna be taking a nice long nap for oh it's november december january february march april may so about six months or about five months excuse me i usually pull her out in april depending on the weather but um yeah so hope you guys liked the video drop a comment let me know what you think about the car capsules um, if you have any questions about it shoot me a message um, if you're interested in joining the club hit me up on facebook or instagram and um, i can get you hooked up get you some merch we got hats beanies flags shirts you name it so yeah um, stay tuned for the next video we'll see you guys later watch for deer